K-pop group Blackpink has taken over 2020 with their much-anticipated studio album collab with Selena Gomez, and most recently, their intimate Netflix documentary. But who's the man pulling all the strings? Teddy Park recently stepped out of the shadows as the man behind Blackpink. He is a super producer when it comes to Korean music and has written and produced all of their songs to date. In the new Netflix documentary, Blackpink Light Up the Sky, audiences meet the music superstar that has been hiding behind the extremely successful K-pop group. Teddy was born in Seoul, South Korea, but spent his childhood in New York City. His father's job transferred him to Diamond Bar, California, where Teddy attended Diamond Bar High School and became friends with his future bandmate, Danny. Teddy grew up loving music and learned how to play the piano as a child, but became more interested in playing the guitar, beatboxing, and producing as he grew older. Danny and Teddy, like any other music-loving teenagers, sang together at karaoke bar and began tinkering with different kinds of recording equipment in their free time. The two knew that they wanted a career in music, so they took every opportunity that was presented to them in order to make it big. Danny and Teddy were discovered as teenagers in Los Angeles by a producer who was connected to the CEO of South Korean entertainment company YG Entertainment. At 17 years old, the friends took a vacation to South Korea where they auditioned for YG Entertainment. At the time, YG Entertainment Entertainment was an underground hip-hop label. Immediately after their audition, they were signed. While the company was new and underground back then, today it operates as a record label, talent agency, music production company, event management, and concert company, and music publishing house. The entertainment powerhouse of a company has hip-hop roots and is credited with introducing the world to the first generation of K-pop. YG Entertainment was founded by Yang Hyun Suk, who was a member of the first generation K pop group So Taji and the Boys, and his brother Yang Min Suk. One of the first groups to debut with YG Entertainment was One Time. Teddy Park's music career starts here. After finishing school, he moved back to Seoul to make his dreams come true and was introduced to the world as one of four members of Korean hip hop group One Time. His friend Danny was also in the group, along with group members Jinan and Bak Young. The group released their debut album, One Time For Your Mind, in 1998, and it was one of the best-selling albums of the year, winning the group several major awards. While the band never officially broke up, they have not been active since 2006. One Time is celebrated today as one of the most influential groups in Korean music history and are remembered for their outstanding writing, producing, and choreography skills. When the One Time chapter after came to an end, Teddy became an in-house producer for YG Entertainment, which was just making its breakthrough into mainstream music. The entertainment company had grown from an underground hip-hop label to one that was turning out superstars and hit songs. Enter Big Bang and To Anyone, two hugely successful K-pop groups created by YG. As their in-house producer, Teddy worked on the majority of To Anyone's discography and a good amount of Big Bang's releases including Phone Number and and Ayo. Both groups would go on to top charts and win multiple awards. Teddy was making a name for himself as K-pop royalty. It seemed he had the secret sauce when it came to creating success for emerging artists. Teddy even started his own record label called The Black Label as a subsidiary of YG Entertainment. The label has signed some noteworthy Korean artists, and with Teddy at the top, we're sure they are getting the mentorship and support they need to achieve success in their own right. Remember Gangnam Style? Do you know who was behind that viral sensation? Yep, you guessed it, YG Entertainment. That video brought the entertainment company international recognition. The video became the most viewed video in YouTube history and the first to surpass 1 billion views. Fast forward to 2016, Blackpink is established as the next hottest girl group to come out of Korea with the backing of YG and Teddy. The group was curated by the 
the team at YG Entertainment, it seems these four bombshells have taken the world by storm. Their latest track, Ice Cream, which was released in August of 2020, has over 300 million views on YouTube, and the video even features a special guest, Selena Gomez. The all-girl K-pop group is the highest-charting female Korean act on the Billboard Hot 100 and on the Billboard 200. They were also the first Korean girl group to enter Billboard's emerging artist chart. If those weren't enough records to break, their song, Did It Do, Did It Do, is allegedly the most viewed music video by a Korean group on YouTube. It's currently sitting at 1.4 billion views and climbing. Wow! Blackpink was able to break out into the international music scene, winning an MTV Music Video Award and even performing at Coachella. When we think about the way these ladies took the world by storm, it's no wonder they had a powerhouse team behind them with some of the best in the business. In Netflix's documentary Blackpink Light Up the Sky, the world was introduced to Teddy Park, the man behind countless hit songs and swaggy dance moves. He said, I've written and produced every single song that's come out so far. He must be a busy guy. The producer of the documentary told AV Club in an interview that before the crew even met Teddy, the girls brought him up all the time and talked about him like he was their older brother. She said they described him as someone they could confide in and someone who played a huge role in their lives professionally and personally. Teddy brings years of experience and has been with YG Entertainment since its inception, so it's no wonder he's become a mentor to so many superstars. With someone like him at the helm of your music, we're not surprised that he's very particular. In the documentary, he said, We're very particular with what we put out. We guess you have to be when you have billions of views and broken records under your belt. Blackpink member Lisa said in the documentary that Teddy is like a CEO. She added that if someone did something with him or met with him, it was a big deal. Well, yeah, with a track record like this, we're sure it's very hard to get a meeting. This year, the girls released a promotional single with Lady Gaga that debuted at number 33 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It also gained the girls huge recognition on the international charts. With people like Teddy Park so committed to the ladies' success, there's no telling where they'll end up. When it comes to K-pop, Teddy would like to see a world where the music genre is put on the same level as pop music. In the Netflix documentary, the super producer asks why K-pop is even a term. He said we're just Korean people trying to do music, so if Korean people make music, it's K-pop? He went on to say the only difference between traditional pop and K-pop is the language, and asks why there are not new names made for pop genres in other countries. He has a good point. What motivates the 42-year-old producer to keep going? He says he just wanted to be someone who young artists can look up to, adding that he hopes he can be the person he needed when he was growing up. While he says he didn't have someone on the outside looking in and telling him where to go and what to do next, it seems like he was able to find his way just fine. Today, Teddy Park is a very active member of YG Entertainment, producing some of the biggest songs coming out of South Korea. He has a coffee shop and studio called Tusum Studio Coffee Shop in Seoul, South Korea, that has been described by fans as beautiful and amazing. The coffee shop has four levels. On the first level, patrons can enjoy coffee and food. There's seating on the second level, a DJ box and art collection on the third level, and on the fourth floor is a private area called Teddy's Studio. It looks like hard work pays off, because in 2016, the music mogul purchased a $6 million home in the heart of Seoul. We love hearing from you. What is your favorite Blackpink song? Let us know in the comment section below. For more videos on the latest in pop culture and beauty trends, subscribe to The Taco. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Bye for now.